and then, he found, and then he found a ferret in his trousers. Anyhow, uh, what were we going to record? Uh, uh, anyway, this is the game. This is... Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Hello. <laughs> you. What? Nothing. <laughs> this is C14 Dating. Um, the first episode is on <laughs> my channel. Sounds like robot dating. It is. It's, it's basically carbon dating. Um, yeah. You're dating... Let's big... date elements. You are dating elements. They just happen to be joined together. It's all you are. You are a series of elements. He has a really nice bum. Deal with it. Um, anyway, so we, we chose our week, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if I remember what we were doing, but it's just... Apparently. Everything. Anyway, like Sherry said, there was another lecture in the morning, complete with a whiteboard and Augustine demonstrating how to use a trowel. I read that as towel. At first, and I went, yeah, that sounds about right. For the <laughs> always butt naked and flo- kind of doing that flossing thing with it. Yeah, that, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> it was all in French and Sherry was kind enough to translate some key phrases or remind me that I covered this with her before the trip. Students were divided with one half, me included, to head for the cave, while the other group would stay behind for lab work. That's pretty shitty. I've come for the cave, you staying behind. Oh, <laughs> Forever. Walk to the you're cave. Gonna as... Clean this with a toothbrush, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> Walk to the cave was roughly ten minutes, passing through a narrow path of the slope woods. Trickier sections had cement stairs installed, along with handles to prevent slippage. We reached an ordinary looking shed. Augustine pulled his keys out. I realised this was the cave entrance, or at least the artificial part of it. Once you're inside, please spread out so I can explain how to wet screen. What? What? Uh, do you have a couch in there? Video camera? Anyway. He repeated the instructions in French as we filed through one by one. There's a raised counter in the middle with plastic containers suspended on wooden supports. Clean everything that comes out. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming this is actually a genuine thing. So this is where the wet screening takes place. It looks like it can only fit two people at a time. Under under how often it will be used. Well, with whoever you and the person you're dating currently, I'm assuming... Because two people. Yeah. Augustine demonstrated by lowering an empty metal sieve into a plastic container, grabbing a hose. He mimed washing the screen and rooting through... Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's it's panning through the stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's panning. I've never heard it actually referred to as wet screening. And again, it looks like an expert in the area, so... Well, wet screening is basically a bit Ron Seal. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Use a screen and you use water. As much as I tried to pay attention, the language barrier tested my focus and my eyes started to wander. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Look down. There are posters? Well, there are now. We're looking at them. <laughs> they could have at least drawn one of them. True. True. Posters depicted sedimentary layers, cave bears, and even pra- <laughs> sedimentary layers, cave bears, and previous excavations. Oh my! Definitely useful for references if I could only could read French. Okay. Eau de caverne must be cave bears, yes, because that would make sense. Hmm? I f- at least I figured that one out. Um, because Urs. that w- Urs is Ursa. Yeah. yeah. So. Meaning bear. Yeah, meaning. Ursa bear means bear. Cave. And, uh. Yeah, anyway. A shuffle brought me back. the cave. You make this- does sound more, more impressive when you phrase it like that. Mm. Admittedly, it's a bear, so it's quite impressive anyway. <laughs> <laughs> a shuffle brought me back to attention of people gathering buckets, tools and knee pads. I followed and carried everything in my own bucket, including a sheet of paper encased in a plastic bag. Real cave entrance opened, leading to a narrow industrial catwalk suspended over the abyss. I'm not sure abyss is the word I would use, but... The, the slightly lower down cave entrance. Yeah, the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Once I walked through, the temperature dropped to a cool chill and I zipped up my hoodie. Augustine directed students to various locations while Sherry carefully slipped by and I followed. Cave opened up further with numerous stalactites and stalagmites. Stalactites are the ones that go down. Because yep. tights go down. Um, everywhere. Where stalagmites thrust skyward mightily. Yes. Catwalk railing disappeared where the ladders connected or where it branched off into other segments of the cave. Sherry, where will I dig? 
Sherry leaned over the railing and pointed to one of the deeper parts. You'll be digging here. It's a 125,000-year-old lair. Very same one where they discovered the Nand Neanderthal mandible. Neanderthal mandible. Now get to it. What? Well, are we digging in such a important place already? Despite my nerves, I felt giddy inside. Sherry climbed down the ladder. I trailed behind her. At the bottom, there was another catwalk positioned exactly in the middle. Now my eyes adjusted to the dim light. I noticed there were strings and cords hung everywhere. And okay, yeah, notes. I've already done that, but ahead of time, okay. Yeah, that that's good. We don't have to listen to that description anyway. That's true. They made a grid out of string and put paper on it to identify things. Then they took a shitload of photos. <coughs> yeah, basically. Sherry brought me to the end of the catwalk where there was another ladder. This time, much shorter. <coughs> You'll be digging on the right side here. Surprising, the ladder's a lot shorter. The hole isn't. <laughs> <laughs> here was a rather cosy looking pit a perfectly dug out square two to three people could probably move around freely in the space it was almost right under the main, main catwalk higher up this is your care d32 care d32 care means square obviously everything is separated into a grid system starting from the entrance of the cave the uppermost left to right it goes yeah whatever it goes meow apparently <laughs> hello <laughs> Yeah, we use the system. We use the meow system. Um, see, that one's meow. That one's meow. Then that's meow meow. And then that's meow by meow. As you see, if you go down the grid, if, you, if you reference meow by meow, you get meow meow. Yes, I know, kitty. He's a butthead. <laughs> <coughs> that makes sense. It explains all the lines dangling from the ceiling too. They're for measuring. Thanks, Sherlock. <coughs> Jesus Christ, I know fuck all about archaeology. I still know more than you, archaeology student. Yeah, but they've got to assume that people aren't going to know a huge amount about stuff. I don't know a huge amount about stuff. Yeah, but you might be from a place full of idiots, so... You know, I am. Or poor education. I am. I'm from the UK. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are worse places, but... Hello? Like... Cat is now sitting on my chest where my lungs are housed. So if I sound a bit weird, that's she's why. staring at your face whilst doing. No, she's literally lying across oh, I see. my chest. Correct. Shall we? <coughs> and she's. I'm. A, I am actually allergic to cat hair. Hello, cat. Yeah. So <coughs> this does raise the question: the um, the, the, the reasoning behind getting cats if you're allergic to them. I'm only a little bit allergic to them. And it's better than the dog. So, but that's just my personal opinion. You could have got a bat. I could have done. Then he'd go up, he let it out for to go out and hunt. Never see it again. <laughs> yeah, that's how bats work. <laughs> just flies, just fucks off. Yeah. Uh, ah, screw you. <coughs> it depends if they bonded with you, they won't actually come back, I think. Because yeah, well, if not... they have a roost, but. Yeah. Shall we take a closer look? The photo photographs from this row should be done already. Oh, yep. accent. Round. I'll be right back. You can go ahead and set your items down. She retreated while I grabbed the bucket next to the shorter ladder. I descended, then grabbed the tools before I hopped off the last step. <laughs> the layer I'd be working on was mostly dirt, with the odd large rocks sticking out here or there. It would be easy to dig. By the time Sherry returned, I'd already had my knee pads out and the piece of paper next to me. Okay, accent. <laughs> I've forgotten Nicole's accent. Uh, Californian asshole. Oh, here we are. A picture of your square. Just a drawing of a square. Yeah, she handed it to me. <laughs> I could tell it was printed off in the highest resolution possible, fully inked and glossy. What do we use the photograph for, says the looking archaeology this, student. Looking at, looking at this representation of, a, of a, an image in the, in the real world. That's what we use it for. First things first, we distinguish each layer and outline it on the photograph. Once Augustine or myself check it over, you can go ahead and start excavating. This picture is often is an irreplaceable reference if you and you'll find yourself relying on it often. Please don't lose it or get it tarnished. You might want to put it in a plastic baggie. Well, she did say it was glossy, which might imply it's No, it's just a glossy treated. Sadly, Augustine is soft to at the moment. He'll be helping the other students since most are new to this too. But you've you expect about 20 to 40 students, only one turned up. How are you short-staffed? <coughs> only one turned up. There were 30 of their group. Yeah, but they must be expecting the same amount, presumably. Maybe. Otherwise they would have mentioned. Is there anything you'd like to go over? <laughs> what the fuck's going on? 
Okay, let's just do the quick horizontal digging with vertical. Get down. Stratigraphy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I actually understand that. Uh, but basically what they're saying is, you know which bit's which if you can see it. Yeah. Basically. Hence, you know, strategy, you know, is in stratified. And oh, hang on, there was a mention of a man there. You can ask Hendrik when he arrives. He's one of the bears. He's the resident geologist and Augustine's nephew. Also a bear. Also a bear, yeah. Although I have to say, if one of them's a geologist and the others aren't... No, oh, God, really? What if he's an arsehole? Good point, never mind. <laughs> and not a bear. I'll be quite disappointed if he's not a bear at this point. Possibly a bear ridden by a stoat. Uh, okay, how do so... X and Y axis work? Okay. Yeah, X and Ys, so uh, if you know how graphs work... And then there's a Z axis, which is, you know, metric Good reference mm. metric system. Meow. I know. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna go let her out in a second. Oh, she just likes the metric system. <laughs> Lay name it's day's date and write down the photos number of it. So there's no mix ups. Did you get all that? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is going to be our first mini game. Yeah. Did you read everything and do you know what you're doing? Yeah. No. Um, find an artifact. Panic! Don't pluck it out like an amateur. That's not an amateur archaeologist, that's an idiot. That's yes! A, that's a, that's a, number it. Put it in a player. There's, there's, well, Tin one, file, one, plastic bag. What? Fuck that! I, I, I wrapped my sandwiches better than that. Numbering by the order you're finding in one, two, three. Yeah, finding three from this um, square. And we've already got all the other photographic evidence and everything of its context and all that, so. Mm hmm. Put That's it in a plastic bag. That's the most in archaeology. Context. Yep. Yeah. Ow. Get... So everything else is kind of irrelevant. Yeah. Give so. me a second. I'm just going to murder Kitty. Yeah. And we're back. Yeah. How do we handle each layer? With your hands. <laughs> okay. Layers aren't perfect strains. Stretch. This is actually written by somebody who knows what they're talking about. I I don't. Yeah, wet screen it after you've done it. No. So basically, you're digging out everything into a bucket, and if you, you don't find, find, what if you find a skull, well, if you're wet screening a skull, you've got te your terrible point of view. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much what you just said. <clears throat> but I hope all the scene doesn't see it. You never want to fight find flint or burnt bone in your. Tamisage, which is French for screening. Keep a careful eye out, and if you find something you're unsure of, ask me or a fellow archaeologist. What's that? It's a rock. What's that? It's a it's rock. A rock. What's, What's that? that? It's a rock. a rock. Oh, right, you're an archaeologist, you're not a geologist. <laughs> this is a flint. Well, yeah. Is, flint doesn't mean it's been worked. Uh, is this a flint? Well, yeah. yeah. Mm, right, mm, what we're yes. about to go over here, right, is a flint, right? <laughs> yeah. It's one of a small subsection of rocks. It doesn't necessarily mean it's been fecking worked. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I've been on holiday in, uh, there's a place in um, Kent, which is just a massive strand of, it's entirely made of flint. Mm -hmm. The entire, but, uh, but count, half a bleeding county, it feels like. Hang on, county where I live, we're, we're, yeah. we're built on chalk and flint. Literally, yeah. that's all we built on. So, I know. You've narrowed it down, kind of, to the internet if they use the geological map and guess. And have an, and have an idea about English geology. Well, you just by using a ge geological map. Yeah, good luck finding those ones. The, uh, the, the yeah, geological survey maps are not widely commonly given out. Yeah, you can find them online, but it's not easy. No, trust me, geological I know. Survey. Pretty sure the people who work for the geology... But the geological survey have axes for people who put it off free. We on. don't have axes. We have hammers. No, no, but that might damage the hammer, so you can't. True. You know, anyway, because who cares about what happens to the axe? You don't need that to work. The thing is, we're we're doing we're doing jokes that I'm I'm feeling maybe going over people's heads a little bit sometimes. <laughs> you know, and I, I'm not I'm not dissing people, but it's just a case of oh what? fuck, they're talking about rocks. I don't want to bring up rocks. Yeah, I know. But it's only because I know about them. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I'll give I you know some... stuff I don't talk about. Jeez. 
<laughs> what? No, no. I'm saying I only talk about stuff I know about. Have you noticed she looks like Elsa with the braid? With the braid a little, yeah. You'll use some time to get familiar with your square. If you're struggling, remember you the can adjust corners. the heat lamps. Also, the photographs contrast have been altered to help distinguish the sedimentary layers easily. I'll be back shortly. That's a nice little detail, because I can imagine that being a simple thing that makes a hell of a lot of difference. Oh, yeah. I, I bet it was. Yeah. I glanced down at the photograph for comparing it to the vertical wall in front of me. No matter how closely I look, everything was brown, 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 and more brown. Oh, come on. Let me do it. I can do this. Show me a picture. I can show. I can tell you where the layers are. I've missed geology. <laughs> What we um, need to do is just get you out in the field of a shovel. Not a shovel. Pickaxe. Pick pickaxe or... You shovel first, usually. Mm, yeah. How am I supposed to tell the difference between this brown layer from that brown layer? And different shades of brown, different sedimentary. Yeah. <laughs> just This one's a different shade. And if you see the rock, how the rock looks like, it's different, right? Yeah. Not deterred. I don't, I don't want to say texture because that implies actually just running your hands along it. But you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> yeah. I picked up the pencil and began marking the more distinct sediments. Eventually, it all became less solid brown. I can see reds and faint yellows within the soil. Either that or her eyes were bleeding. Yeah, probably. I was so focused, I barely registered that I was not alone anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he's got hearing problems. Mm -hmm. That's um, attached. There's actually a subdermal magnet holding that in place. I did not know that. Yeah, it's really freaking cool. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Be honest about it, yeah. It's just cool. really freaking cool. Tall students stood by the square next to mine, already engaged in identifying the sediments. I paid him no heed until I become stumped on whether I was looking at one layer or two. Quietly peering at his profile, he seemed rather familiar with the system. I guess it wouldn't hurt to ask him, or at least try to communicate. Uh, can I get your opinion on something? Heck off. I, how she hasn't noticed the hearing implant, I don't know. Ah, maybe she's on the right side of him rather than the left. Could they're be. next to each other. So, yeah. uh, hello, uh, bonjour. Do you speak a <laughs> the English? The English. <laughs> <coughs> Parlez-vous, Americans? Americano, do you speak coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still no reaction. I reach out and give him a gentle tap on the shoulder. X, whoa! Jumps a feet, a foot in the air. Touch yeah. jolted him so abruptly that I retracted my hand. He whirled around and then glared at me. Fuck me, you here. We have a few my songs here. It's in French. Quelque chose. I don't speak French and I can't get the accent right. What's the point? Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, don't speak French. Uh, non parle, non. Ah, anglais. They're American. That's no, American, American not American. anglais. American one. Oh, to be fair, that doesn't mean English. It does, American sort of. One. What? He placed his photograph on top of his square. Uh, did you need something? Not from you, aloof student. Yeah, actually, I'm trying to figure out the layers and I can't tell if this is one. Gently trace the soil and he pretended to pinch the air to give it give an idea of width. Or two. Seems reddish at the top. Grabbed his trowel, giving the vibe of a serious and no-nonsense person. Once I shuffled out the way, he examined the area I'd indicated. So, the stratum is more red, as you said, but gradually disappears around here. He etched a small line to mark the ending. I blinked as I recognised the differences, then nodded gratefully. Thanks so much! I mean, I sort of figured, but I wasn't sure either. It's nice to get a second opinion. Gave him a cheerful smile, but he remained impassive. That's not impassive. That's not terrified. impassive. That's... that's <laughs> That's terrified or anxious. I want anxious. to be somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> he even seemed baffled when I reached out to initiate a proper, proper handshake. Uh, I'm sorry, I have leprosy or something? Is yeah, that... maybe. I'm Melissa. I'm one, uh, the only forest student here. If it wasn't obvious already with my language skills. Reluctantly, he switched the trowel to his left hand. And we gave a solid shake before letting go. Kyla. Really? Ew. Really? Don't the French have like a list of names that they can use? Or well, the Belgians. No, that's oh, they're here. Belgians. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Just point out there is a difference. Yeah, I know. And that was it. With nothing else to work from from his introduction, I decided to bring up his skills. Guessing you're aspiring to be an archaeologist. You do appear to know what you're doing. 
He returned to his side of the square, knelt down, grabbing his photograph and said, Fuck off! Yes, this is my fourth time here, so I'm acquainted with the subject. They won't let me leave. I keep failing. I'm going to be sitting. Yeah. I just want to be an artist. <laughs> or a musician. Or Probably both. not a musician, to be fair. I want to be an art musician. Oh. I want to play a painting. <laughs> it's a new thing. Oh, I can it, sing a rainbow. <laughs> oh, sorry. And you, especially since you're not from around here. I assume you, you don't want to be an archaeologist or you've travelled all the way across the globe to come to an archaeological dig. Well. Oh. Well, she travelled 5,000 miles. I'm assuming she's fairly serious. Yeah, I'm pretty serious about it. Of course, I did come all the way from California to experience this firsthand. I also love the idea of working on such an old archaeological site. I'm surprised they assigned me to exca excavate a 125,000 year old layer. I looked upward. It did seem most students got the upper strata to work with instead. For someone so interest interested, you did get distracted easily. Well, aren't you a dick? For 12 seconds. Hey, it was all in French and I couldn't help but look around. Since we're excavating next to each other, that makes us square mates. Or would that be care mates? Yeah, stop speaking. Yeah, please. Just to stop speaking. Just finish the game here and stop speaking. <laughs> yes. Either way, I look forward to working alongside you. You look confused, but simply gave a mechanical nod. All <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, like <coughs> whatevs. Thick off. Even his last words felt artificial, and I lost him to his own little world of microstratigraphy. I guess he values concentration. You can actually see him turning off the implant. Yeah. Of that. Yeah, right click. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking muppet. Like one of the guys I gave me on Wednesday says I've got a not quite as complicated, but he's got um, hearing aids. Mm. And there are times I, when I was in school as well. There was a. There are times I wish I could turn my hearing off. Yeah. <laughs> it's just going. Oh, I mean, you can close your eyes and you yes. can not touch things. So, you know. But hearing, yeah. That one's out of your hand. Hearing and smells. I'll tell you, yeah, there's a few times I wish I could block off smells. Now, the secret is to make a worse smell. Trust me, some of the smells I've smelt are but little children, remember? That's true. There aren't that many worse what smells. What you need to do then is introduce burning. <laughs> <laughs> I mentally reminded myself to bring my earbuds for next time. I had a feeling we wouldn't be talking, making much. Small talk outside of excavations. No, it's inside of excavations you won't be making much small talk. Outside of it, he's probably fine. You're trying to work, you bastard. <laughs> Rest of the day was pretty uneventful. Mostly a long wait for my photograph to be approved by Sherry and got hit by jet lag. Despite my worries, Sherry said she would not deny marks if I napped until dinner, although she did scold me for forgetting my journal. What? Well, we didn't have much of a choice in the matter, did we? So... I scanned the tables and manoeuvred to where Sherry sat, scooted to a spot on the bench and silently started on my meal. After a few bites, I poked the pasta dejectedly and sighed. Now I really wish Paige was here. We promised to do so many things together too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Glanced hopefully up at Sherry. I felt bad, she was, but she was the only oasis in this unfamiliar place and I clung to it. Because going to another place, experiencing the culture, not things I'm interested in doing. Well, I mean, she has only just got there, and mm. there's no fami immediately familiar stuff around her, apart from Western civilization. But apart from that... Um... <laughs> yeah, not only that, aside from Kyla, none of the students greeted me or even tried to converse with me. I guess it was obvious I didn't attend the same university. Yeah, they don't know you. Will I fit in? Oh, no! I'm trying to have dinner. Next question was more to myself, but Sherry overheard. Because I said it out loud, because I'm an idiot. Oh, God. Uh, I, I keep on wanting to do, like, a proper Cockney. Worried? The students here can be reserved. You know, just, like, like proper things. You look at her and think Cockney, really? Uh, no, I don't. But I keep on wanting to do it. You just want an excuse to do a Cockney accent. <laughs> no, I really don't. I'm not that <laughs> good at it. The students here can be reserved, but I'm sure there'll be a few brave ones that like to practice their English with you. Great, right, you're tall. Probably too focused from the lectures and tasks right now. 
True, I'm sure we're all used to the routine here. I'll have more chances to mingle. Yeah, there's some truth to that, because mm. once stuff becomes habit, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. I ate with gusto. Who was gusto? But you ate with Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh God, we both made the same joke. I feel bad. <laughs> Feeling confident now, when I finished, Sherry glanced at my empty plate. Here, I'll take that for you. Try to get some rasp. Thunk, face first on the Yeah, team. her concern cheered me up and I chided myself for feeling anxious when I had barely arrived. I retreated to my tent as I settled down, contemplating about tomorrow, a musical tune disrupted the quiet night. <laughs> <laughs> I quickly sized, but I knew the catchy introduction theme to Ishtera anyway. Yes. I grabbed my 3D P. Yes. No, I didn't leave my system on or anything. Was someone else playing? Might as well get, play some Ishtara. A little groin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I booted up the game and the first notes of the theme song bled loudly. I had forgotten my earbuds when I hooked up to the handheld. Your earbuds. Earbuds. Yeah, shut up. Slid the volume down, hoping it didn't startle anyone. <laughs> Did you call some birds that have just been perfectly trained to know what sound to be made at what times? <laughs> They just sit on your shoulders. That's, that's basically how gaming works. Did you not know that? What, you Got have minor some, birds. You have some, yeah. oh, well, I was thinking of your blue tits just trapped inside the console. <laughs> <laughs> the low spirits I felt earlier today melted away to the warm colours of the game. Happy, happy game, game. Happy, happy game, game. Okay. What, what are you asking? Oh. Okay. We're going through all the things. Are we going through the things we did? and Fail. Sign came up saying fail. That's that's nice. What we what we failed at failed at socialising. That's to be fair. She doesn't know many people. She doesn't speak the language, and no one wants to talk to her. So yeah. that, that that's a bit of a handicap. Dawn of the third day. Look to the east. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying a pleasant jog in the early morning. Since I don't know much about Kareen, I stick to the familiar path between the train station and the museum. When I returned, I saw people mingling in the open canopy. That meant there was enough time to eat breakfast before the trek to the cave. I swung a leg over a bench and settled into my seat. After pouring myself some apple juice, I grabbed an orange and began peeling it. Oh, God. <laughs> Can we just skip anything he says? No. Just just look at him. I know. <laughs> just His dialogue doesn't matter. Let's just judge him and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Like, Hey, did you have a nice jog? That's bad, he's American too. Startled by the unfamiliar accent, I glanced up and greeted by a friendly face. I did, it was a short one though, since I don't want to risk getting lost just yet. I don't know the area well enough. The roads can be pretty windy too. You think they're heading east and somehow you end up going north. North. What? That's not how wind works. Oh yeah, I noticed the streets aren't all clearly marked. So the names are mostly on buildings. Speaking of names, I'm Melissa. Pleased to meet you. I extend an arm and he accepted my handshake. Okay. Dondre? I guess so. Dondre, enchante, kill him. <laughs> Wait, you from around here? Sister. Sister? It's just... Uh, accent sounds different in English. Yes. Because it's, yeah... Well, for one thing, he's not French. Um, Your accent isn't French when you speak in English. Did you learn it from somewhere? A Belgian, you dick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he learned in New Zealand. Right. <laughs> I started abroad in New Zealand for a few years and picked up the manner of speech. -ish. Perfect. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Well, it sounds lovely. It's a charming accent. Seriously, sweet ass. I was concerned it'd be hard to understand concerning his more first language. Glad that's not the case. All right, Bob. Calm down. <laughs> I'm grateful you took the chance. For a while, it seemed no one wanted to talk to me. I was worried if I was somehow unapproachable. Not at all. Many people are shy in the beginning, but they warm up quickly. Quickly, yes, words. <laughs> we were actually intimidated by your presence at first, because you're eight feet tall, apparently, and breathe fire. Yeah. Huh? Me? We all thought you were some high school prodigy archaeologist, since you had obviously flown in from another country. Well, that's a, that's a logical assumption. Yeah, mm. Me? A prodigy? Oh no, I'm just a regular university student working on our anthropology major. Although I do look 12. So, that is uh, true. And I don't like a high schooler. 
you do, yeah, especially, yeah. especially with your hair like that. First year? No, second year. Well, I guess technically third. You? Oh, I live in a bin. Uh, fourth. <laughs> I've sort of fallen behind on electives, so a summer one seemed the easiest. We noticed a few students getting up and bringing their dishes to the outdoor wash area. Dondre, we can't yeah, choose him because of that it. name. <laughs> what the fact that we get? Uh, I love you, Don Drake. No, no. Reached into his back pocket, and then pulled out a phone. He glanced at the display. Speaking of which, if we'd like to pass, we should start heading out soon. Also, I should really not keep this in my back pocket where it's easily stolen. <laughs> Cave or lab? Oh, now I'm on dishwasher duty, but I'll be working the lab afterwards. They're still getting around to proving people's photographs, including mine. Ah, again, feel. thanks for the time for taking the time to talk to me. I appreciate it. It's no problem. I know what it's like to be in a new country and away from your folks. Once we finish... If you're at university, you should already be away from your folks. I'm sorry, just true. That's true. Once we finished breakfast, we stood up at the same time. We momently gazed at each other in surprise. He was much taller than I expected, near Kyla's height. Because it's all Kyla men tall. have to be tall. Is, is Kyla tall? Did anyone mention that? I don't think he did, No. Oh. Now think about it, most if not all of the students here are easily a few inches taller than me or more. Oh, we're playing a short ass, okay. Right, okay. We're playing a midget. <laughs> That's not a few inches. <laughs> it's a few, well, unless everyone is, but proportion-wise that would look a bit off, I think. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure about his reaction here. DeAndre hammered a fist into his flat palm excitedly. Oh, there was the other reason why we thought you were a high school student. Hey, I'm only slightly below average height at home. Dondre grinned in amusement. We left the canopy. I spotted a middle-aged woman frantically ask, asking students something in French. What's going on? Helena, the receptionist here, is looking for volunteers. That hasn't been easy. I offered to cook all week, but that, it's not a one-person job. No. I have a partner for today, but any past that... Sherry did encourage me to participate, more like I would be marked on my helpfulness outside of archaeology too. Hmm. Uh, good luck with that, bye. <laughs> <coughs> You're friendly, but so many murderers, so bye. Okay. <laughs> That's my logic on that. Uh, so he could, if he's a murderer, he could protect us from the stunts. I know I should volunteer, but I don't want to do that so soon. My head is already swamped with learning how to excavate. Haven't even dug an inch yet. I'm sure you'll find someone. Good luck with that. Bye. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mel. Don't call me Mel. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. Toodles. <laughs> I'm glad my photograph got approved. Now I can finally start digging. Get out a pickaxe. <laughs> so where do I start? From the top? Right, well done. You start at the top, and work your way back 25 centimetres, then you proceed downwards until you finish the layer. Some people f prefer digging back a few centimetres than work their way down. Either way, as long as you're making progress. For now, we have to remove the couche de merde. Okay. Something of squares. Square the of something. Square of shit. Square of murder or something. Like Shit. That. Square of shite. Okay. Trust me. That's oh. what that means. That is literally means that. Okay. Yeah. Use her trowel. She etched a line near the top of the square. The dirt at the very top was hard and compact with footprints all over it. All this is out of context now. People have trampled on it. It's all been exposed to the air for so long. It's better just to remove it all. Couche de mer. Wait, that sounds for, for, uh, similar to murder. Therefore, exactly, it's the layer of crap, to phrase it mildly. Just dig back 25 centimetres and a few down. When it comes to this layer, it'll make working here much easier. But you'll need a document for this. You don't have to worry about the details. At least it'll give me a chance to sharpen my excavating skills. No, I wouldn't go that far. You're just mm. removing a layer of poo. Yeah. Oh. I discreetly glanced in Kyla's direction. He must have been super... What? Hello? Super diligent, since he'd already stripped his layer away. Hesitantly, I took the bigger trowel and started scraping. Amazed by the resistance, I had to apply more force to make a dent. Well, it's compacted, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, let me give you some taps. Hammer it in! Oh, 
Mini game time! How to remove the poo. Now, before we dig, we should move the first top layer. It's been treaded... Trod on. And its soil is now mixed and distributed. You can see how dark and compacted it is compared to the lighter, pristine sediment beneath it. No. Not in no. that picture. It's the other way around. Not only that, it's hard to dig through and all clumpy. Already oh, it's all clumpy. <laughs> it's all clumpy. <laughs> Already tossing it out. Someone's eager. Remember, you <laughs> only need to move a few <laughs> centimetres worth. It's a irrelevant uh, side, side thing. Uh, a friend of mine in tabletop role playing games, she always has a horse called Clumpy. It start, well, actually, it started off in Skyrim rather than tabletop. There was Clumpy, who fell off a cliff. Um, Clumpy 2, who got eaten by a dragon. And then tabletop RPG, she had Clumpy 3, who got melted by acid before she could even ride him and get him out of the stable. Aww. <laughs> but I could have Clumpy. No. <laughs> okay, so I think yeah. I get this. This is basically Minesweeper with the numbers on the side. Minesweeper with poo. Yeah, you see what I'm seeing. Five five two two two. So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm good at this. Just like this. Perfect. A clean line. Make sure you don't remove too much, or you might be digging into the sediments you'll be recording. Is there a way to prevent that? I mean, I can easily distinguish in these two layers. I'm sure, it won't obviously be these obvious. You can use the tip of your trowel to etch into the sediment. Okay. It helps to separate the stratigraphy so you don't have to constantly check to make sure you haven't dug into a new layer. Okay. Here, try it as a practice run. Okay. Etch tool on the useful... It marks oh, the cells it marks that do the not need to... don't have to do. Okay. Okay. Because it's all zero. Yeah. <laughs> See, the zero is behind... That means no cells need to be chiseled so you can leave it as it is. Okay. Looks like the top end of layer is here. I agree. Now you know how much left you need to clear away. All of it. Dig it out. Dig it out. Dig it out. Whoa, whoa, it's like whoa. a hammer and chisel to the whole lot. You're fine. It's perfect. The couche de mer has now been stripped away, revealing the pristine sediments underneath. And the pool. Now the top column's marked with the two. This means it had a column had two. So yeah, we got that. Uh, filled out rows marked with five. All the requirements have been completed. Check. If, have we done it correctly? Yay! We did the couche de merde. Not a new journey entry. Poo! Poop! Looks like <laughs> I've completed everything. Now I feel like a real archaeologist. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, I'll be helping out the other students. Bugger off. Okay. If you're stuck, you're fuck you. Yeah. Uh, Click on the numbers on the side. The corresponding row column will be correctly filled out for you. What? Huh? Click you've got hints. Oh, okay. you've got hints. Okay. Oh. Right, fine. Careful, though. If your stress levels are too high, you won't get... Oh! That's pretty cool. That's exactly. clever. I like that. Makes sense of all... Yeah, yeah. It's Minesweeper, yeah. Let me... Sh yeah, it's Minesweeper, basically. Now that the couche de mer is gone, I can finally start digging, right? You sound eager, but your hand is shaking. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Just don't yeah. dig through the sediments carelessly. Micro-stratigraphic approaches, which require high spatial control... Why don't you point out the sediments? Oh, dig a little into this one. The separation is unmistakable. Everything looks brown to me, but here I go. Okay, right. Okay. Multiple numbers and some rows and columns. It might seem a little daunting. Okay, so basically... There's nothing here, so hang on. There's... This row requires a sequence of two cells each. Can't chisel them together, or you'd have a four for the row instead. Okay, so what what we're saying oh, I see. is so there'll be a gap in between them. There will be a gap there. That makes sense. There. How does that look? Perfect. The letter is an A two A L letter. This is an alluvial deposition, so it will be silty and easy to work through. Not very okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this one is one, but we know it's one in that row. With a gap, then nothing, then the last two, then. Yeah. No adjoining cells need to be... Hang on, what? Back. Yeah, it's because we know that since it's a one and a two at the top... Oh, right, so... And that one's a one, zero. Then a gap, then and then the two we... next to each other, and the other one's a zero. Yeah. But of course, it didn't insist on marking it out first, because it's an arsehole. Well, yeah. You know, tutorials. Check whenever you think you're done. I th 
Oh, right, let's see if we can do the rest. Okay, so that's the one, and then there's a one there. Hmm. Uh, well, this row, this row, this row does not need that. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's three in there's a three column and then a space and a one. So that's so yeah. So, so that's, that's all to got to be out. there and that's got to be there. Yep. Um. Got which means that's a one one. So that's all done. done. This is a one one. Can't be that one in the middle because. But this one here needs. It has to be that one in the middle. Yeah, well, sorry, I meant on belief that it can't be. Yeah. Doubt, but yeah. Yeah, but that has to be there. Yeah. Okay, so that's a 1-1. One, one. That's complete. This is a 1-1. One, one. So a bum. That's a 3 and a 1, so it has to be Bottom. there. Yeah. Bottom. Boom! We're, we're actually quite good at this. I'm wondering why she's got all these different coloured uh, tapes on her. Just... Yeah. Well, I, don't know. I mean, they're nice, but it's about mm. six of them at least. Yeah, well, maybe it's a thing in America. I don't know. Want to carry that much tape around with yep. different colours? Yep. I think it's... I figure out where all the sediments are, Sherry. In the ground. Agreed. Do you still have your photograph? I can fix up some of the pencil lines you put down before. Yes. Usually you have to have your photograph approved by one of the staff members here. But since we're shorthanded, I'll be overseeing the photographs. We established that. I agree with the stratigraphy markdown. You can outline the pencil with a permanent marker and start digging from the top once you're done. Thanks, Sherry. While you work on that, I have a quick question. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you bring your journal? Oh, okay. I didn't forget it this time. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Have you also talked to Helena recently? She's the receptionist here and oversees the volunteers for cooking and cleaning duties. No cooking. Oh, God. I can see where this was going. Uh-huh. As you recall, I expect you to volunteer since I'll be for Max 2. I haven't volunteered yet. <laughs> disappointed it's face. Not volunteering if you have to. Not really. Better get on that. Helena did say she's having a hard time finding volunteers. Also, she's getting educational marks for doing something that isn't educational. I know. That's a bit. I mean, volunteering. Yeah, it's good. But yeah, and if if it wasn't weird. if it this is an archaeology course, it's not um a civics course of some description. Yeah. Melissa, I'd like it if you could help out tomorrow. I hope it's not too abrupt. But um, you won't get your full marks on anthropology unless you clean up some stuff. Yeah. Fine. Do the dishes or do some cooking. Otherwise, you're obviously not a good enough anthropologist. Yep. Mm, yeah, I, I agree. Um, No, it's not honest. Oh, great. I'll let a Helena know. I thought maybe you didn't volunteer because of the language barrier. I can be the intermediary until you're confident enough to volunteer on your own. Are you doing cleany? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. I'll, oh, if you, I'll let you sorry. finish your first task. I'm mostly helping other students here. Give a holler if you have any inquiries. Personally, once you get used to digging in the cave first before you transfer to the lab, next week you can decide which one you'd like to focus on. Generally, students spend one week in the cave, one week in the lab, then alternate. However, I think flexibility is important, so I'll let you plan your own days. Fine. Remember the conversation finished. Sherry climbed the ladder, leaving me with a remote Sk Kyla. Not Skyler. That's. I know. That's... That'd be a very different kind of game if it was Skyler. <laughs> Jeez. Being, you know, the murderer from Heroes. Just, yes, no, I just, was. Just in case anyone else didn't get it. <laughs> See, I was thinking about the wife from Breaking Bad, so. All oh, right. <laughs> I think it's Skyler. I, I can never a, remember because I only watched... Murder, but, the uh, thing is, I only watched one series of Breaking Bad and everyone tells me how wonderful it is and I thought it was shit. I've never been able to watch it because the premise makes me angry. So, yeah. Yeah. You know you know how he has to yep. turn to crime because he can't afford to pay his medical bills because it's not provided by the state. <laughs> yeah, makes me angry too. But everyone says, oh, it's so good. And I'm just like, I don't care. Um, I wonder it's if I could... for Malcolm in the middle in his pants. Mm, yeah. <laughs> there was a whole there was pretty shitty deconstruction of it. <laughs> so much for the square mate thing. Maybe he's more of a circle mate. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled the earbuds um, out of my pocket, inserted them, and turned it on my music. Let's tack out this uh, mucky layer. Boop. Success! You asked the question. Did we successfully read a book? Yes, we did. Oh, we didn't access successfully internet. Oh. 
heavy, heavy, way too heavy. Why did I think it was a good idea to fill it to the top? Not only that, I'd climbed to climb two ladders, gripping the bucket handle with both hands, managed to trudge forward to the wet screening area. Luckily, one space was free. I set down the bucket and then placed a screen over the container. Uh, yes, we got this bit. Yep. Tried hoisting the bucket only to find it was too short for this task. Kick futilely, because apparently words, until I realised it was faster to grab it and drag it to the next of the tub. Okay. Dumped the bucket. I had my labelled cup next to me. Grabbed a hose and drenched the compacted soil. Okay. Shh. Glance at the person across from me. Who is it? Sup? Gamer Nerd! Yay! He tentatively poked through the wet screen, unable to determine if any of the objects were rubbish or worth dropping into the cup. His arms obscured his hoodie, although it seemed vaguely familiar to me. Yeah, it's going to be a gaming thing. I watched him and he happened to look up, meeting my eyes. I know a girl! That's Bonjour! Sad. Sorry, can't speak French. I'm not even sure if you can understand me. Didn't mean to blurt that out, but he averted his eyes briefly for a moment. I thought he didn't understand English and didn't know how to respond. Okay, hello? Oh, you do speak English? Yes, yeah, so I'm actually uh, pretty fluent with it. Sweet! It's always nice to know I can talk to more people here. I'm not confident with my French at all, let alone Spanish. Why what? is that relevant? Is it with the Spanish? <laughs> also, his eyebrows look like penises. Oh, they do now, thanks. <laughs> I chuckled while I waited for a reply. However, he meekly nodded, then glanced down at the wet screening. I'm, I'm quite sure because my, uh, my, my face has two penises drawn above my eyes. Uh... Total opposite of DeAndre. I guess he's not big on conversation. Music is great, but I spent all morning beside super sociable Kyla. I needed small talk, damn it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Need all this. First time here as well. Yeah, yes, I don't know much about archaeology, so this is all new to me. Oh, he's not an archaeology student, is he? No. No. Uh, it does seem really unfair. Um, <laughs> yeah, that you have to do an archaeology thing. It's a lot to take in. My head is spinning from all the info dumped on me in the past few days. Hopefully, all my worries will pass on whatever, whether I can do this or not, and I can enjoy the experience. You nervous too? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I'm a beat. My, my mouth has gone strange. For someone being thoughtful on how to answer, it was barely a complete sentence. Well, firstly, it's not his first language. Yeah. Uh, I need there is that. I need another angle. What else could I say? I like games. Yeah, I like games. <laughs> Love you, hoodie. I like games. It was going to be a general statement, but then I got a clearer look at what he was wearing. Wait, no way. Uh, some of the design was still hidden by his arms, but I recognised that logo anywhere. Oh, oh my gosh! I love your chronicles of Celad Celida. Yeah, it's, it's it's definitely it's def it's it, it's quite a good series of not Majora's Mask. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. Um, it's based on twenty masks, right? How many faces does that character have then? Twenty. Yeah, one for each mask. Big head. Yeah. You've played some before. Uh, it was practically my childhood. I love the series and it was my favourite one. Really? Mine too. I've always appreciated the darker direction the series took with it. Yeah, I love the mysterious spooky vibe they had going. My favourite part was learning about the world through the side quests. I'm guessing you completed the lover's quest. What did you think of that one? Loved it. was really sad and I felt guilty I couldn't reunite them every time. I think I shed more tears over that than the actual ending. NPC schedules were super detailed. I ended up following each character. I agree. See, uh, what a nerd. Is what the a nerd. Oh, fuck oh, that's, you. That's nice. I agree. The uh, main town felt lively, I thought. And I uh, liked how your choices could influence the characters, too. I'm Shoji. Really? really? Okay. Oh, right, okay. He eagerly extended an arm and I flinched from the unanticipated gesture. Seeing my startled reaction, he hastily withdrew his hand and averted his eyes. It's a uh, sorry. No worries, I just didn't expect it. Here. Yeah. I initiated the handshake this time. Realised how gritty and wet our hands were. <gasps> and they've invalidated their work. Because they might contaminate their own samples of someone else's stuff. It's unlikely, but never know. Yeah. He seemed to be aware of it too and we exchanged an apologetic look, followed by a laugh. <laughs> my bad, I should have wiped my hand first. Not the best of handshakes <laughs> there. Oh, that, that's not a good phrase to have to say ever. No, especially when you're it's doing a, the shit layer. It's fine. Yeah, I've got my hands covered in the poop layer. 
Bursts of zeal he displayed when we gushed over games are quickly mellowed out. We re- release each other's hands and he silently returned to wet screening and I did the same. Sometimes I glance up and sense he had more to say, but did not articulate them. Or I already forced got enough conversation out of him for now. When he was done, Shoji chipped over the screen, dumping out all of the rubble, which disappeared with the water below. Because that's how you treat sinks. <laughs> yeah, fuck sinks. <laughs> After Shoji picked up his empty bucket, he lingered by the catwalk for a moment before returning to me. Uh, see you around, eh? He trailed off and then it hit me. Hadn't even said my name yet. Ah, it's Melissa. Right, uh, pleased to meet you, Melissa. Likewise. Later, Shoji. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay with the pseudo-French accent because I assume he's Belgium. Yeah. Belgium? No, he's Belgium, not Belgium. He's Belgium. He's, he's an entire Belgium. fucking personified country. Yep, he is the soul of Belgium given form. Apparently. From what I know about Belgiums, eh. Well, to be honest, what I know about Belgium, I expect more black lace and chocolate so, and really good tea shops. Um, Gave me a grateful nod before disappearing into the cave. Might as well finish up too. Click, click, click. We succeeded at internet. Woo! We did a successful internet. Okay, right. I've always found outdoor fridges a bit weird. Yeah, they are a bit. I, just, well, I suppose it's because it's an electrical appliance outside. Yeah, true. We should probably call it an episode. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. This game actually seems decent. Yeah, bye. I'm already quite liking this. Bye. Bye.